Hello everybody, it's your old buddy Jim, East Tennessee Preparedness, hope everybody's having a good week. Got the girls out here with me, they've already had their treats and been fed and watered and got six eggs today, they've slowed down a little bit, I don't know where you, about where you live, but it is scorching hot up here, it was 95 today and the humidity, I think it felt like 102 or something. So uh, I hope everybody's having a good week, if you work outside, which I do sometimes, uh, Make sure you're staying hydrated because I had a uh, heat exhaustion when I was going through advanced individual training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, and that is not a fun thing. A little bit longer and I'd probably had a heat stroke. Looks like that blackberry plant ain't gonna make it, so two out of four made it. And the little apple tree I planted, it's still doing fairly good. Uh, I'm not going to have to worry about tomatoes. I've been putting a garden out here for four years. And never had any problem when I went down Sunday evening. There's a big old doe standing in there eating all my all my tomatoes. So if anybody's got any tips how to, how to keep deer away, I've got a few tips at work. But interested in hearing that. But enough of that. Uh, what I was wanting to talk about today is keep your focus. There's a lot going on in the world. <clears throat> what to be distracted by and what we need to keep our eye on what's happening in the news and stuff like that don't let it consume you you can't change the micro but you can really affect the macro so that's what you need to think about know what's going on and what might be coming down the pipe but really what are you going to do if the resident in the White House does something stupid again. Can you affect that? No, you can't. But you can affect what how, what you're doing in your area to be ready for what's coming. How it affects your family. If something bad happens, how your family's going to deal with it. So, think about the, the macro. I don't know which one's bigger. And, but focus on the small things. You know, be aware of the big things, but focus on the small things. You know, I I con contacted my state senator and state representative about uh, Tennessee being constitutional carry. Pestered them, pestered them three or four times. And I'm not saying I had anything to do with it, but if enough people do that, then you can change things on the local level, state level. Once you get up past that, it's hard for your voice to be heard. So just keep doing what you're doing uh, as much as you can do when you can afford to do it. I'm going to steal this from somebody else. Just do the best you, best you can with what you have where you're at. Focus on things you can do like a little garden, although mine didn't produce as good this year. I ain't giving up on it. I'm getting ready to water it tonight. Uh, putting extra food back, extra water back, uh, getting the water filtered. Uh, you know, I have some live straws. I uh, have a big Berkey. Those aren't cheap. It took me a while to save up to get one. I bought those uh, two water totes. Last year used. I've been cleaning them out ever since, but they'll hold 250 gallons of water each. That's a lot of water. It'll have to be purified, but that's all right. There's different ways of purifying water. Do your research. Uh, my next project is We'll be learning the wild edibles in my area. So I think that's important. So just focus on what you can do to prepare yourself and your family. Be aware of the big stuff that's going on around us. Don't stick your head in the sand and just say, I'm prepped, I'm ready. You gotta know what you're, you know, keep your eye on the ball, but don't let it just consume you every day that, oh gosh, this is happening. Oh my God, what am I gonna do now? run a bunny rabbit so that was my thought for this video and uh, I want to thank uh, Mr. Pinball Preparedness for evidently it was a wild night here Saturday and I was trying to catch his live stream but he gave me a shout out so if you came over from uh, Mr. Pinball's channel I appreciate it I hope you like the videos here and if you do shoot me a thumbs up leave me a comment just let me know how you folks keep the 
the deers out of your garden. Especially if you live in a suburb, we don't get that many deers around here. So, speaking of water, so I need to check this. We that's full. It rained there last week, pretty good rain, and it's already filled up. So, one rain filled it up. So, I think I gave 60 bucks for that. I'm addle brained. Working out in the sun all day has baked my brain, what little I have left. So, uh, just let me know what you guys suggest about keeping the deer and future venison out of your garden. I got a few tips from people at work, but I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts. And just uh, keep it doing what you're doing. Focus on the things that you can change and do for yourself. But keep your eyes open about what's going on and what's coming down the pike. And there's a lot of good channels that give give news so that's who I go to I don't always call me and I have my headphones in listen to it while I'm at work so can't really comment as much as I'd like so but I appreciate all the subscribers if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down everybody have a great rest of your week and I'll probably talk to you guys this weekend and I'm gonna go looks like it's clouding up I think I'm gonna go ahead and chance it start watering the garden and help the sun don't come back out so everybody have a great night take care everybody adios